Hi guys! I wanted to talk about something that won't take too long to explain. But yeah, the thing I wanted to talk about is heat damage. Um, if you guys haven't seen my heat damage in Big Chop number 3 video, I'll have that linked in the description box below. But basically, you know, I just explained that I had heat damage and I cut it off in that one video. And I've been getting certain comments about how heat damage is a myth and that it was unnecessary for me to cut my hair and all this other crazy magical stuff that people have in their head. Let's start off with the fact that your hair is dead. The hair that comes out of your head, all of this, is dead cells, dead hair. There's nothing alive about it. When you cut it, you don't feel anything because it's dead, you know? And we only do things to our hair to style it, basically. And since it's already dead, the proteins and keratin and all that that's already in the hair, you're not gonna get any more of it. So once it's damaged, it's pretty much gone. So that's why we use products and stuff to try to keep those protein bonds and keratin and all that good stuff in our hair for as long as possible. Because over time, whether you're doing a lot of damaging stuff to it or not, over time, your hair is naturally gonna get damaged from weather factors, from just daily wear and tear of your hair just being exposed to the world. So it's gonna get damaged anyway. It's just trying to keep it all there for as long as possible so you know you can keep your inches. Since your hair is already dead, for your hair to be able to revert back to its normal state, you have to be alive. I can take these scissors and I can cut my arm right now it's gonna bleed, whatever. I damaged my skin, but guess what? A week later, there'll be a scab right there. That's my skin <laughs> reverting back to skin and not scab. The scab will fall off. Your hair is not skin, your hair is not alive. My skin is alive, cells, you know, fall off your skin every single day and they're being replaced. No cells are being replaced in your hair. It's once you do something to it, it's done. So yeah, your hair cannot revert back. It's just not gonna happen. The reason why heat damage is permanent is because it's a physical change, like on a molecular level. This physical change that occurred when you got heat damage is you broke down your protein bonds. You know, the structure of your protein, which for our hair is keratin. Keratin melts at 315 to 335 degrees Celsius, which is also 419 to 455 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when keratin will melt. And however the keratin melts on your hair, which if you're straightening your hair, the keratin is melting, you know, melting your hair straight. So when you go to wash your hair, that's the way the keratin melted and you have heat damage. Your hair is going to stay straight or wavy or however it melts it. And sometimes, you guys, this heat damage isn't just one time like mine. Well, mine might not have been one time. It might have been just because I got my hair straightened twice with that amount of heat or whatever. It just took me a whole another year to get it straightened again. But it was probably already, you know, slightly jump damaged from the first time. But yeah. Um... All heat damage is not just going to happen one time. It can happen over a period of time. Like if, you know, you're straightening your hair, let's say every two weeks. Every two weeks, you know, you're straightening your hair, you're breaking down your keratin bonds or whatever. But it's not drastic, so your hair, you know, still reverts back. So, let's say week two. Week two, you go to straighten your hair, it's fine. It reverts back, whatever. Let's say you lose two bonds. We're gonna call, you know, carrots and protein, all that. We're gonna call them bonds. You straighten your hair on week two, you lose two bonds. So you have two bonds missing. That's not that bad. You still have plenty more. Okay, week four, you straighten your hair again, you know. Nothing's wrong, you lose two more bonds. So now you have four bonds missing. Again, let's see. You see a little change, but your hair still reverts back to enough for your liking. Let's say that. Um, week six, you're straightening your hair again. Okay, you lose two more bonds. Now you have six bonds missing. 
Okay, your hair is not styling how it normally does. You're like, my twist out usually be popping by now. Like, what's the problem? Week eight, you straighten your hair again. You lose two more bonds. Now you have eight bonds missing. And your twist outs look like... <laughs> Let me not cuss on here. And let's say, you know, okay, well, since my hair isn't acting right since my hair isn't acting right I'm just gonna straighten it again for week 10 and we tell you your hair straight it's not reverting back you have heat damage well you had heat damage before but it wasn't as severe as it got you know to week 10 so you're like okay I got heat damage um, what did I do differently that I didn't do the last time you didn't do anything differently it's just the damage is accumulative like it's built up to this moment that's just my explanation of heat damage the second part I want to get into is people <laughs> thinking that their hair reverted after heat damage again that just doesn't happen my reasoning for you thinking that your hair reverted is because okay let's say your hair stops at your shoulders that's the average length I guess for people with damaged hair your hair stops at your shoulders and you have heat damage, you know, like to your hair. This hair is gonna break off. It's breaking off and breaking off, but your hair at the roots is still healthy. You haven't got a chance to damage that yet. So your hair is growing out here and breaking off here, which leaves your hair at this shorter length. Now you, you know, lay off colors and heat product or heat appliances, you know, for like six months to a year and you realize okay all of my hair is good and natural and healthy it reverted back it did not all you did was grow out your hair and all of the damage broke off little pieces at a time not for you to you can't you can't notice when your hair is breaking off it's a couple of hairs at a time it's every single day it's probably throughout the day it's something that you don't notice because you see yourself every single day. I have a visual aid to help me further explain what I just said. This right here, the color is going to be damaged hair. You know, this little straight piece right here can be heat damage. All of this can be heat damage or it can be color damage or anything like that. Let's say this black hair up here is, you know, your roots. It's the healthy hair that's starting to grow out or whatnot. And this right here is just going to be the hair follicle. My fist blown up will be the hair follicle that your hair is growing out of. So let's say it's your scalp. So we're here. We got our hair colored, you know, and a straight end or whatever. And we're going to wear it out. So let's say a month goes by and you don't deep condition your hair often. Guess what that does to color treated hair? Does this. You know, so you lost that in a month. You lost that in a month. So, again, in a month, let's pull this down. Your hair grew. But your hair is still, you know, at your nipples length. Another month goes by and you're wearing buns all the time, every day, and redoing them. Let's say you got some um, some feed in braids and they're super tight. You got bumps. Let's say snip, snip. The next month you lost this much hair again. But you also grew out this much hair again. So you're still at your nipples and you're thinking, I'm at a hair plateau. My hair isn't growing. It stays at my nipples. What can I, you know? You're trying to think of things to get past this hair plateau. Okay, another month goes by. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, we got that weave installation with the glue lace fronts and you neglected your hair all while that was in. So snip, snip. You lost this much hair that month, which is the third month we're on, I believe. But your hair also grew out a little bit. So, do you see this? Now you have this much hair damage still that's attached to your hair that's still holding on for their life and you have all this new beautiful healthy hair. 
don't damage that okay um all of this will be easier if you do what i did and at this point just cut all that damage off and i don't have to go with the daunting task of all that's going on right here but that's what uh i guess people like to do nowadays because that's what they do anyway the next month goes by it's valentine's day you and your honey are doing what valentine's day people do you didn't wrap your hair up that night snip snip you lost that much hair but that month you grew that much more hair and you won't lose that much hair just from not wrapping your hair up one day you know i'm just trying to fast forward these events that's from not wrapping your hair up at night you know constantly let's say two whole months go by you don't wrap up your hair at all and it's rubbing up against the couch it's rubbing up against the car seat it's rubbing up against your child who's pulling it two months go by you lost this much hair two months also go by and you grew this much hair so again you're still at your nipples you're still at your plateau and you're thinking my hair isn't growing it is growing it's just breaking off as fast as it is growing out let's say you've just been enjoying your hair lately you like why do i have all this hair if i can't enjoy it i'm wearing twist tops every day i'm wearing cute buns the middle braid i'm gonna swoop my edges i'm slicking down late honey yeah it's label you killing it you killing these hoes okay yep 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 while you were slaying and killing these hoes or which have you because i don't like calling people that but yeah while you were doing that you were killing your yeah your hair too so that's how much you lost but this is how much you gained which is still at your nipples but guess what now all of your hair is healthy and well if you weren't adding to the damage because not only when you don't trim off your hair the damage will travel up but I don't feel like going into all that and I don't feel like putting on more makeup to travel up this strand but anyway I don't want to get all that on my shirt your hair is here and it's fully healthy and you like oh see that girl that Asia Shar, she didn't know what she was talking about I waited a whole year and a half I got my hair it's reverted it's healthy but you've been at your nipples or you know you've been at the same length for this whole year and a half you were saying that your hair was reverting that's a sign that Asia knows what she's talking about. All your hair did was grow out. You transitioned. This is transitioning. You transitioned the damage out because you didn't cut it as soon as it happened. All it did was fall off. It broke off at the same rate that your hair is growing out of your scalp. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative and that at least one person learned from it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.